What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman, this is Simba, and in today's Daily Fix, Xbox One's free next-gen upgrades, July 2020's Nintendo Switch Online games, and zombies in Modern Warfare, that one's quite a bit. Roll the thing! Remember when you were a kid and someone would tell you to do something and then you do the opposite because you were a defiant little sh**? Oh, just me. Well, hopefully this thinly veiled segue doesn't apply to the report that has surfaced suggesting Xbox told third-party developers that Xbox Series X upgrades of their current-gen games should be free. This report comes courtesy of VGC, which cites publishing sources with knowledge of Microsoft's next-gen policies as saying that Microsoft has been encouraging companies working on cross-gen games to offer upgrades at no additional cost. This would make use of Xbox's smart delivery program, where you only need to purchase one version of the game to be able to play it across all of Xbox's hardware range. So far, we know games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk 2077 will offer next-gen upgrades at no additional cost, but this push from Microsoft would represent an attempt to stop other publishers and developers from charging full price for next-gen versions of cross-gen games, or charging for an upgrade behind a DLC paywall. For example, EA is offering games under a dual entitlement scheme, which allows players who purchase FIFA 21 or Madden 21 on current-gen consoles to play upgraded versions on Xbox Series X and PS5. There are certain restrictions, though. Unlike Smart Delivery, Madden 21 is available for a free upgrade until the release of Madden 22. And and players have to buy Madden 21 on Xbox One by December 31st, 2020. All that said, Microsoft hasn't made free next-gen upgrades mandatory just yet. So if devs don't adopt smart delivery, there are other options. NBA 2K21 has a cross-gen bundle option where if players purchase the $99.99 Mamba Forever edition, they will get the next-gen version when it's released at no extra cost. Seeing as the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions of NBA 2K21 will cost $69.99 and the current gen is $59.99, you're saving about $30 right there. Smart delivery is extremely pro-consumer and it's nice to see Microsoft advocating for the use of the service, aka giving more players more game for less money. But I am curious about the price breakdown from a developer's point of view. By offering free next-gen game upgrades via smart delivery, Microsoft is accepting some loss in royalties, but the developers are the ones who will really feel the pinch, and I don't honestly believe they're being fully compensated for making the Xbox Series X more enticing to players. I'm not saying that I don't appreciate smart delivery, because I very much do, but it's probably for the best that Microsoft continues making it optional versus forcing developers to participate regardless of the consequences or size of the development team. What do you think about smart delivery? Do you do you think the current list of 15-ish games will grow before holiday 2020? What do you hope to see on there? I'm personally hoping whatever the unannounced Call of Duty is for this year will make the list. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of possibly free games, July 2020's Nintendo Switch Online games have been announced. Becoming available to all Nintendo Switch Online subscribers on July 15th are SNES's Donkey Kong Country and Natsume Championship Wrestling alongside NES's The Immortal. Donkey Kong Country was originally released in 1994 and stars Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong as they face up against King K. Rool and the Kremlings. It does not feature the DK rap, but we all wish it did. Natsume Championship Wrestling was also released in 1994, a great time for things to be released. I was born in 94, so that's referencing my release into the world. Anyway, it allows players to step into the ring with one of 12 fighters. And then we got The Immortal, which originally came out on NES in 1991 and has you take on the role of a young wizard who is on a quest to find his missing mentor. Any of these games catch your eye? Are you still waiting for Nintendo to expand their virtual console to N64 games? You too? Let me know in the comments. Zombies are a beloved part of Call of Duty and were notably absent from the most recent installment, Modern Warfare. But it wasn't always that way. During the development of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Infinity Ward did explore the idea of having zombies in the game. First reported by COD Tracker, principal artist Aaron Beck got the okay from Activision to post some of the unused zombie art. From Beck's Instagram caption, quote, I was thinking it would be fun to play with the classic Call of Duty zombie gameplay. Hinting here at some sort of Russian special forces soldier and his duo of of quadruped robots, holding captive zombified soldiers by leashes around their necks. Ah oh, yes, Michonne vibes. Those quadruped robots sound extremely stressful, which is of course my default state when playing zombies, but Infinity Ward decided to ditch zombies in this COD installment in favor of Spec Ops, the game's co-op mode, which I was really jazzed for and if we're being honest, have hardly touched. Life. Oops. But I love Spec Ops in Modern Warfare 2. Maybe if I decide to finally clear my PlayStation hard drive for the newest update, I'll give it a go. And while we're on my COD musings, 
When are we gonna hear about the newest installment? What we do know is it's reportedly to be developed by Treyarch and will reportedly bring back zombie modes. And there have been hints at it being set during the Cold War. I'm thinking it'll be a Black Ops reset or a prequel to the original Black Ops. What are you predicting? And that's Daily Fix. We did it. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video of 10 minutes of the newest Dark Picture Anthology game, Little Hope, from the devs that brought us until dawn. A truly remarkable game. I can't talk. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com. Here at Call of Duty Zombie Labs, we have the world's foremost zombie experts working tirelessly to develop and perfect zombie killing techniques. Recently, we've discovered a zombie population on the moon.